at Christmas 1914, we had a, I don't know what you call it, a kind of an armistice, if you like, to say there would be no firing on Christmas Day. But it didn't happen just like that. On Christmas Eve, I mean, as far as we were concerned, we were still at war. But on Christmas Eve, uh, during the century at go on night time in the trenches, we heard singing from the from the jerry. And it was only fifty yards away, and they were Saxons, best of my recollection. And we had to stand too because we didn't know what the singing was all about to start off with. And uh, what happened was that uh, we all stood to it, and on on that jerry wire there was bits of paper, uh, bits of rag, all sorts of things, saying that every Christmas some in German, some in English, because a lot of the Germans have worked in England. And uh, they offered up and they held up a bottle of wine, and I know our bloke shot at it. And uh, when we got all got quiet, we had, I don't know if we had breakfast that much in the morning. Yeah, I suppose we did do had a drink. But um, there was, everything was peaceful. And, the, and Jerry eventually, one of the Germans, held up a car and come on to, over the top to uh, Merry Christmas on it. And uh, everybody was dubious in, the, in our trench, they was kind of saying, shall we go or shall we go and all this I mean, they, and then one or two more Germans come up and then eventually we decided well they hadn't got any right with that on so we went over and our Buchanan Dunlop um, he was coming he was battalion commander and then come as to us with battalion <coughs> and uh, what happened was that he kind of led the singing, and uh, we was, I mean, we didn't all group in one place, we were spread along an area about 100 yards, and we mix in with uh, some others, and they give us a bottle of wine, and um, cigar, Jerry Land, mate. All we got is a tin of tickler jam. And we went back in the trench and bought out a couple of sweet tins of jam and give these Jerry's. And they give us a bottle of wine and a cigar. 